students. Today we are going to talk about calculating your state income tax out of your gross earnings. So some language that we're going to first talk about is what an exemption is. So an exemption is kind of like with um, federal income tax, what the allowance did. Now the only difference is between the federal income tax formulas that we use and the state income tax formulas is that the state income tax is based off of your yearly earnings and the federal income tax when we calculated was just off of one paycheck. So our exemptions are going to look like they're a little bit higher in state income taxes than they were in federal. Just understand that we're comparing one paycheck versus a yearly amount of paychecks. So first off, an exemption is a withholding allowance, just like federal income tax, which allows for supporting yourself, your spouse, and others in your family who are your dependents, so your children or anybody that you might have guardianship over. All right, so let's look at our formulas for today. So we're going to find that taxable wage, just like we did with federal income tax, but we're looking at the annual gross pay this time instead of just a weekly or a bi-weekly paycheck. And we're going to subtract our exemptions that are allowed. Now every state could calculate this different. We're going to use a generic $2,000 to represent our exemptions and you'll see that on the next screen. And then we're going to calculate our state income tax. So there's not a tiered level like federal income tax. It's just simply taking that taxable wage and multiplying it by the tax rate. Now here in Pennsylvania, our tax rate is at a 3.07% for state income tax currently. Now the, this data is as of 2020. So um, that's the most current data that we have as, a, as I'm going through this video. We're going to use the exemptions. If you are single, you can subtract $2,000 from your yearly earnings. If you are married, 4,000. And with every dependent that you are calculating, so if you are a married family with two children, you would be able to claim $44,000 for being married and an extra $4,000 for your two children. So you would be able to claim $8,000 for the four of you. All right, so that's what our exemptions look like. Again, this is based off of a yearly income. All right, so here is a situation where I have Avery's gross pay as a nurse is $48,345 a year. This state income tax rate is 3.5% of her taxable wages. And she takes an exemption for herself, her husband, and one child. So that's three exemptions. How much does Avery's employer withhold yearly from her gross earnings for state income? So she has three exemptions times $2,000 each. That gives her total number of exemptions of $6,000. So from there, what we're going to do is we're going to take her gross wage. So we need to find that taxable wage, just like we did it for federal income tax. We're going to take that yearly earnings and we're going to subtract her allowances, or in this case, her exemptions of $6,000. And her taxable wage is going to be $42,345. Okay, so now we're going to figure out what is her state income tax that is withheld. So we're going to take that taxable wage and we're going to multiply that by 3.5%. So we got to make sure that we turn that into a decimal. And we're going to divide by 100 or move that decimal two places to the left. So we'll multiply that by 0 0.035. And the state income tax that should be withheld from her pays, now this is annually, should be $1,482.08. So then we would take that amount and we would break that up what her per pay is. But this is what her annual exemptions, or a, and I'm sorry, her annual state income tax will be. All right, so I want you to take a minute and pause this video, look at page 132 in your textbook, and you try concepts checks one and two. When you are complete, you can 
play the video and you'll see the solutions. So here's the two problems worked out if you need to walk through them. For number one, the exemptions were $10,000. or $10, Her taxable wage was $13,760. And the state income tax withheld would be $550.40. For the second example, the exemptions turn out to be $4,000. The taxable wage was $39,300 and the state tax is $1,965. All right, please check your answers, and if you have any questions, shoot me an email. We're gonna do one more example together. Now this one's gonna have the algebra component to it, so we're not gonna have everything very straightforward. We're gonna be missing something in the middle. So in example two, it's Evan is a personal trainer at the local YMCA. His yearly earnings last year were $28,350. He is single with no other dependents. If he paid $1,106.70 in state taxes last year, what is his state income tax rate? So I'm going to make that be an R, and we're actually looking for what his state tax rate is. That's going to be our missing information. All right, so what we know here is we actually know the answer. So we know that he paid $1,106.70 in tax. We also know that he had exemptions of $2,000 because it was just himself. What we don't know is what that rate was that was multiplied. Now, when I multiply... I really got to take 28,350. I'm just building this equation and subtract his exemptions. Okay, so this was the process that we just completed, but I'm doing it all in one step. So this is the subtraction of the exemptions. So when I calculate that out, we're going to be taking some rate times $26,350. So this is $1,106.70 is equal to the rate times 26,350. So to undo this multiplication problem, I'm going to divide by 26,350. Now when I find my answer, it's going to be in decimal form. I'm gonna just flip flop this R to the other side. So when I do my division, I'm going to get 0 0.042, and then I'm going to multiply by that by 100, and our state tax rate is going to be 4.2%. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you to pause the video again, and I want you to do concept checks number three and four. Now, when you do these concept checks three and four, you're not always going to be missing the rate. One of them you are missing the number of exemptions and one of them you are missing the annual gross pay. So pause the video, try number three and four, and then check your work with my examples on the next slide. When you hit play, these are the answers worked out. So for number three, you can see the exemptions were $10,000 and I subtracted from the gross pay. I divided by 0.04, I added the $10,000, and the gross pay for the year was $86,000. All right, for the second one, I see some of this is cut off in the video, but we were looking for the number of exemptions so we had to get rid of that rate of 0 0.045. That gave us 55,400, and then we subtracted out the gross pay, which was 63,400. And then what we needed to do was figure out the number of exemptions. So if it's $2,000 for every exemption, we divide by $2,000 and we find that there should have been four exemptions for this problem. Okay, so this concludes our lesson. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Um, we will be doing a Zoom today, so you can show up for Zoom and look for your assignment on Google Classroom. 
I hope you have a great day.